August 20, 2017 by Andrea Raya Marvel's The Defenders burst onto the TV scene this weekend, gathering everyone's favorite NYC crime fighters together in one place for an eight-episode roller coaster ride. On top of all the crazy fight scenes and the return of a key character, the Netflix series leaves off on a huge cliffhanger that sets up Daredevil Season 3. Although it was hard to narrow them down, here are our favorite most shocking moments from the Defenders' first season because of course there is going to be a Season 2, but be warned of spoilers ahead. 1. Electra isnt dead anymore after dying in Daredevil Season 2. Electra L.D. Young is resurrected by Alexandra Sigourney Weaver, the leader of Big Bad Group The Hand. Electra is now Black Sky, a nearly unbeatable fighter with crazy ninja skills. She proves to be a worthy adversary to the defenders, but Alexandra gets more than she bargained for, because, too. Electra kills Alexandra nothing like Dr. Frankenstein's monster turning on him, her Electra starts to realize that S.H.E. is so powerful she doesn't need to answer to Alexandra anymore, so she kills her mother and takes over as leader of the hand. Well confess, we did not see this one coming at all because Weaver is such a presence in the season up to that point. It makes total sense that Electra turns on her, but at the time it still feels really shocking. 3. Electra also kills Stick. Speaking of shocking, it's a huge bummer when Electra returns on her former master, Stick Scott Glenn, killing him with a sword through the chest. It's in the name of saving Danny Rand, aka Iron Fist Finn Jones, because the hand needs him and also the show can't kill off one of its title characters, but that doesn't make it any less sad. 4. Stick's big escape before Electra kills him. Alexandra kidnaps Stick to learn more about Iron Fist, but Alexandra vastly underestimates his self-preservation instincts. He escapes Alexandra's clutches by cutting off his own hand with a sword and crawling out through a vent. It might be the most badass thing in the whole season. 5. Heads up oh, and Stick also decapitates hand member Soande Babzola Sanmokin with a sword and then sends his head to the rest of the hand in a box. You're the best, Stick. Rip. 6. That subway scene amid all the fighting and drama is an amazing little scene where Luke Cage, Mike Coulter, Jessica Jones, Kristen Ritter, and Matt Murdock, Charlie Cox have to take the subway like normies. The icing on the cake is Jessica stealing a beer from a passed out dude and chugging it, dead panning. It's been a long week. 7. Misty loses an arm NYPD's debt. Misty Knight Simone Missick plays a pretty big part in the season, wanting to work with the defenders to bring down the hand, but also hesitating to trust these vigilantes because they're working way, way outside of the law. She eventually fights alongside them at the Midland Circle Financial Building, but ends up losing an arm for her trouble. It's okay, though, because this means big things are coming for her. In the comics, Tony Stark aka Iron Man replaces Misty's arm with a bionic one, and she goes on to start a pie firm with Colleen Wing, Jessica Henwick. How great would that be as another MCU Netflix series 8? The cliffhanger The final scene features a comatose Matt waking up under the care of some nuns, one of whom can be heard saying, Get Maggie, tell you her HES awake. This Maggie is actually Maggie Murdoch, Matt's mother. She left Matt and his father, Jack, when Matt was just a baby to become a nun. Judging by this cliffhanger, Maggie is going to play a big role in Daredevil Season 3.